Hello and welcome to Word and Cricket Club's first highlights package of the 2024 season, which sees our second 11 at home to Crawley Eagle second 11. Worthing won the toss and elected to field. So here we are with Robson Piper opening the attack. Slightly unpredictable pitch out there. Still early in the year and obviously after a very wet winter everywhere. And whilst Robson might not consider that his best ball of the day, it managed to tempt the Crawley skipper into reaching out and uh, knocking the ball out to Henry Chandler who took a nice catch. Robson still going. Crawley happy to wait for the ball they felt they could hit and go for those boundaries. Keep that run rate. Ticking over there at just over three and over. Robson did very well to keep coming in. Then Dominic Kay coming in and quite quickly helping himself to a wicket. Uh, Shane Felton then was still coming in from the Broadwater end. And Dom plugging away from the pavilion end. Crawley bringing up their 50. Pay no down from Broadwater end still. Crawley slowed down there. The run rate dropped a bit. They were being fairly patient, but Wahid obviously looking to play himself in. And here you can see the run rate ticking up. Wahid waiting for the balls that he wants to play. Unfortunately, Dom on the end of some of those. And again, as we can see there, five dots and then a four from Pano. So Crawley here patiently working their way up to 100 runs. Again, ticking that run rate over just about three and over, a little bit over. And our new two skipper, Graham Merritt Bland, bringing himself into the attack. Very pleased to have Graham at the club with us here this year. Not only playing, but working and training across all our teams, seniors and juniors. And Wahid bringing up his 50 there. But whilst Wahid could work well at the other end, Graham coming in for his second Worthing wicket of the season. Sadly, some of the technical hitches we had at the beginning of the game meant we missed his first, but glad to grab that one there on camera. Just looking to put a slow there on, on Crawley's run as they're moving towards the last few overs of the innings. And in fact, next ball, not very different to the one before, and same result. But Wahid continued to work the ball when he could. And with the overs going down, and a few wickets in hand, Crawley happy to continue to hit the balls that they felt were there to be hit. And starting to push that run rate up a little bit as they bring up the 150. With Piper back into attack. And then at the end of their Crawley innings, they've taken their total up to 167. With Wahid 79 not out, pick of the batters there. And for the bowlers, obviously the skipper taking those three wickets, but excellent work from everybody, particularly Piper Felton and Dom Kay plugging away for maybe not as much reward as they might have hoped for. So we're then coming out with a score they'd have hoped to be able to look to attack. And they got off to a decent start before Tommy Simpson getting a decent ball, which unfortunately was then fairly quickly followed by Jay Mahesh. 
So we've gone from 29 for no loss. You can see 41 for three as Payno followed not too long after. Umpire thinking a while to think about that, but the finger finally coming up. Uh, do take note of the non-striking batsman here, Ollie Kay, who's been out there keeping for the 40 overs. And then unfortunately watching Henry Chandler again, reaching perhaps a little bit further than he might have wanted. But, yep, yeah, Ollie Kay there, tipping it away off his legs very nicely for two runs to bring up the 50 for Worthing. Out there batting with Tom Mohan. Who, nothing dramatic going on between them, that's why not many highlights there, but as you can see, the 50 partnership and 100 runs for Worthing coming up. So, Ollie and Thomas doing a good job there, just steadying that innings after that little flurry of wickets that Worthing had had to see. 68 needed off 82 balls there, Worthing might have felt that was achievable. But Irfan has other thoughts about this. Picking up his second wicket of the day there. Mohan holding out. And then quickly Kumar Kanuri. Same again. Three for Irfan at this point. Oli Kay still out there. Shadows lengthening. Still early in the season. So as the sun starts to set. Skipper comes out. With roughly a runner ball needed. Decides to uh, put the acceleration on a bit. Ollie joining in. Sending Graham off to run for a quick two there. But as we see, Ollie taking the lead from the skipper, hitting out a bit more. Four going off into the setting sun. And Graham definitely deciding it's time to get some runs on the board. Another four there. Irfan still plugging away. Graham still deciding that boundaries are what are needed. So here still the run rate. We pushed it. So we've got a bit of time in hand here for Worthing. Ollie joining in with another four. And then Graham... Sending it for six over the leg side. Irfan still pushing. And Graham not quite getting hold of that one as well as some of the others. To be caught for a quick fire 23. Shane Felton then in. And Irfan bringing up his fifer with a ball that managed to beat everything including Shane. Oli Kay still out there. And his brother comes to the crease. But not with quite so much success with the bat. So it was a long day out there, particularly for Ollie Kay. This match finished somewhere around half past seven in the end. With Crawley Eagles winning by 15 runs. So... Pick of the Worthing Batsmen, undoubtedly Ollie Kay with his 72 not out. Decent knock, some Thomas and Graham in there to help us go, but couldn't quite make it. And obviously, as we said before, Irfan with his Fifer there, definitely the uh, pick of the Crawley Bowlers. So there we are. Unfortunately, a first home defeat of the season for the twos. Crawley Eagles win by 15 runs. Hopefully you know that we are now live streaming uh, our home games for our ones and our twos. So the next time you will be able to see that is this coming Saturday when the ones will be hosting Preston Nomads. It's available through our YouTube channel, through Play Cricket. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as they always say, please don't forget to like and subscribe.